Hey Pete, it's Mike. Uh, just going to do a quick video on ClickBank. Um, you know, finding products, knowing what they mean, and that that sort of thing. We'll just zip through it quick, uh, quickly here. Um, I did set up a new ClickBank account for the sake again of the testing here. And, uh, and as soon as I learn how to spell my name, it will be good. Gonna log me in, and I'm just gonna go through the analytics, of course, uh, just to make sure that everybody's clear that this is a, a new ClickBank account that I created solely for the testing. Here, there's no sales, uh, no sales up here. That's just a snapshot view, uh, and this is found under the uh, account home tab. I'm gonna go over to the reporting section and view the analytics. This is all the information on on your affiliate links that are out there versus you know how many clicks they're getting and that sort of thing. It's going to give you a 14-day 14 14 range to start. There may be one or two clicks on here, uh, potentially. Yeah, one click when I was checking an affiliate offer. Um, so there's no activity here within the last two weeks. You know, I, I can even, in just bring it down, you can look at the um, month to date, just to verify. And then again. One. Okay. So just confirming that it's a new account. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is head to the marketplace. Um, once I've identified what it is that I that I want to write about, or maybe I'm still, you know, concerned about what I'm writing about, um, or I'm not sure, I can go browse the products here, ClickBank. So um, they actually just updated this. Uh, this is called the marketplace area. Uh, they actually just up update, updated this, and they have the. Uh, drop downs here, you know, health and fitness. And it's going to bring you a bunch of subcategories. Um, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to to try and find your your little niche that you want to that you want to jump into. Let's see and here's here, here's all the health and fitness um, programs here. And it goes on. I mean they they have all sorts of different categories. So, I already know what I'm doing, so I'm going to type in uh, my keyword and find find an affiliate product that I like that I want to uh, promote. Okay, and I already know which one I want. I just got to find it here. Okay, here we go. The ultimate bowling guide. This is what I want to promote. Uh, here's a little sales pitch. This sales pitch is is uh, directed uh, specifically for the affiliates. Okay. 3.9 regular bowlers, higher new price, higher affiliate percentage, no competition, so on and so forth. Okay, so I usually take this with a grain of salt. I'll, I'll do my, my analytics and, and my research, um, you know, regardless of what this says. Okay, so quickly, uh, this is the stats section here. Okay, so this uh, this means the, uh, money per sale. So for each sale that is generated through my affiliate link, I will get $16.03. Uh, the future amount, this is the amount, um, if it's maybe a recurring uh, membership, there are some, you know, like a weight loss programs that actually charge, you know, a monthly fee. So, um, you know, maybe it's it's $30 to buy the product and then $20 a month uh, thereafter until you cancel. So that's what that future amount is. So the total sale, again, is $16.03. Uh, the percentage of the sale, this is the percentage that the affiliate gets um, for making the sale. So this is actually a $27 product uh, in which the affiliate will get 67%. That's the $16.03. Um, that amount may change depending on what country uh, the product's being purchased from. So, um, you know, depending on the conversion rates and such. So it may be a little bit different, but for the most part, it's going to be right in that, right in that ballpark. Um, you know, it's just the conversion rates and stuff. So this is the amount of sale for in U.S. dollars. Uh, Gravity, long story short with the Gravity, this is how many different affiliates have made a sale with this product during the last 30 days. So it's not necessarily the amount of times this product was sold versus how many affiliates actually sold it. So assuming that I had made a sale, you know, yesterday, this number would go up, um, you know, if I made, it's going to go up if I made one sale or it's going to go up if I made 10. It doesn't matter the amount of sales more so than the individual themselves making a sale. Uh, so just a little bit about that uh, category: sports and uh, sports, individual sports. 
Uh, so that's pretty much it. You can view the vendor spotlight here. It'll just tell you a little bit about it. And then we'll go through in more detail um, about ClickBank and, and its functionalities and such. So uh, this website's been around, activated 12, 2005. So it's been around for four, four years now, um, which is pretty good. I mean, it's, it's steady. It's, there's, it's not a huge, uh, a huge market. But it's it's steady and it's saying it tight. We can get into the graphs and such like that. But um, just a little bit of brief overview of uh, of ClickBank and then, of course, just showing my account and that it is a brand new account. Hoping to get filled with lots of uh, what do you say, Ching? Need lots of Ching. So anyway, that's that. Uh, we'll hammer it out and get you some more. All right, man. See ya.